Welcome to the Music Room for December 24th, 2015. Got my hat out today. It's kind of late in the season. I am not in the Christmas spirit this year, but when I seem to put the hat on, it does a little something to me. I uh, was out shopping a little bit earlier today, and the little girl asked her mother if that was Santa, and uh, I kind of overheard that, and I told her I was out. I was Santa's little helper, and I was out finding treats for the reindeer. That kind of kicked me in gear, you know, a little bit to, to kind of see what I was out for to buy, buy some stuff for some uh, good friends and family that I have here in Montrose. I normally, well, when I was in graduate school, I had a hat like this, and I, I kept it in a car, and I'd wear it on the freeway um, between Thanksgiving and, and uh, Christmas, and uh, people would get a kick out of that. I also try to make a habit of wearing it when I go out on Black Friday, particularly when I go to Home Depot at 6 in the morning. Um, the people in there seem to really like the fact that I got my hat on. I'm in good spirits about the whole thing, but not this year. This, it's what, now is the 24th, and I finally put it on. I'm recording this today because um, I want to tell you that, that uh, I really hate Christmas songs. <laughs> Is that like Bah Humbug? They get stuck in my head. They just they get in there. You know, like, think of some songs like uh, Walking on Sunshine or God Forbid, Owner of a Lonely Heart. They will get in my head and I cannot get rid of them. Sometimes it goes on all day long. Sometimes it's like more than one day. Um, they're, and they're never really a good song. Uh, so Christmas songs to me are just... They're, they're, They'll get in there and they like drive me crazy. So <laughs> I used to wear full size headphones when I go uh, grocery shopping, uh, just to not hear all these songs. They're just horrible to me. Uh, and the worst one, the most offending one, is "Let It Snow." If that comes on, I have to like run away and put on like some kind of ear cleansing song, you know. Panama Works, uh, anything by ACDC or The Cult will just purge that Dean Martin, whoever's who's singing Let It Snow, out of my head. And, and I, 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 I do it because I don't want that in my head. Um, so it, I figured out that this is the reason why I really, another reason why I like shopping at Amazon because there's no Christmas music. Yeah, bah humbug. Um, I will tell you though, I, there is one Christmas album that I really like, and it's this one. It's uh, George Winston's December album. This came out in the, kind of like the mid -late, mid 80s. Um, I ended up buying the CD for this um, back then when I lived at the Leisure Club, but I have the album now. Um, I bought a bunch of this kind of stuff, Wyndham Hill kind of samplers and things when I lived in the, in, you know, in the mid 80s, uh, as well as uh, Hearts of Space music for it to, to study to. Um, this album is associated with Christmas because it's called December. Um, this is, this is, this is really good. I actually saw George Winston in like, uh, 1987 at the El Paso Symphony Orchestra Hall. Um, I saw two, two different, um, um, concerts there. George Winston and The Clash. Um, a little bit different crew, a little bit different, um, you know, audience there. I will say that the George Winston fans did not tear the seats out of the concrete, the first row of seats, to make a mosh pit for him when he was playing uh, Lions and Lucy. That did not happen at the George Winston concert. And also, Coggy didn't get up on stage and put his arm around George Winston either. Uh, but it was a good show. There's a section in the show where he stops, and he's talking to the audience, and he decides he's going to take requests, you know, this is a point, you know, he comes on and says, I'll take some requests from the audience. And somebody yells out, Free Bird. <laughs> the audience kind of starts laughing. He says, it happens every time I take requests. Someone wants to hear Free Bird. And one of these days, I'm going to play it. But not tonight. So we didn't get to hear Free Bird from George Winston. But we did really have a good show there. Uh, last year, George was on um, a tour in uh, Colorado in December. And he came to your Ray. He came to the Wright Opera House in the Array, which seats about 100 people. I was kind of amazed that, uh, you know, an artist of his caliber was actually going to play in the Array. Uh, I called up Karen. I said, hey, guess who's going to play in the Array at Christmas week? And she's like, um, George Winston. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that she got it. 
Uh, um, I was going to go. I'm going to take my money. And um, then I realized the only reason why I wanted to go was to find out if he ever played Freebird or not. I'm not going to drive down there, you know, in the wintertime just to ask him, you know, after the show if he's ever played Freebird. So I, I didn't go. He's on tour again. He's actually going to play in Grand Junction on the 26th. So I have another opportunity to find out. But I really would like to keep it a mystery to find, you know, to learn. I don't really need to know if he ever played it or not. I did look on YouTube. I'll have it in the show notes here. Um, uh, about a, a, a classical pianist that plays those kind of songs. And her version of Freebird is actually very good. Um, I'm going to play off of this album on side two, song number two, called Holly and the Ivy. Um, this is my favorite song. This is what I would... Um, Actually, you know, during the during December and near Christmas time, I get out my acoustic guitar and I play along with Ollie and the Ivy. Um, this is by far my favorite song on the album. Let me go ahead and put it on. So, um, yeah, I'd wish uh, everyone a Merry Christmas this year. Um, spend a lot of time with your family and your friends. Um, there's, you know, I was kind of looking back at this year and um, looking back for some highlights of the year. and. Uh, one of the highlights really was recording these music room segments. They, they mean a lot to me to get them down or actually before I forget them. And uh, I, I enjoy it. The, uh, I know that the people that are, that are in the stories also enjoy the, the fact that I'm recording these. I, the, uh, the one I did uh, a couple days ago for, for uh, Red Barchetta. Scott, Scotty Dane was having a bad day, and uh, I texted him, I said, hey, you know, the picture of the day, the music room segment's about you, and uh, he watched it, and he said it uh, it made him cry, and he really appreciated it, it was very timely, the, the fact that he got to laugh about the Rush concert, so, I'm going to continue uh, doing these, I, I like, like them, and every time I do one or two, I come up with three or four more um, songs to do. I probably have at least 30 more just without even trying. Um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. This is the music room for December 24th, 2015.